Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17th to December 23rd 2018 And uh, while I'm doing the shuffling of the cards, once again I want to remind you that that is a general reading for Cancer Star Sign And it will resonate with uh, every single individual Cancer in a different level Therefore, in this video, I will try my best to explain the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. As well, I'll give you some examples just so I can make my point my point clearer. But at the end, connecting this with your situation, it will be your job or it will be your doing. Now, if you want uh, a reading where I'm going to draw cards for your situation, you know, and your situation will be the focus of the reading. Well, that is a subject of a personal session, and for it, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there you can find a full, uh, full list of my services, as well as their pricing. And uh, don't forget that till the end of uh, December, the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes personal reading with me are reduced. They are with reduced cost. So these are the four cards, the four general cards, main cards for your um, for your week, Cancers, and that is going to be an enhanced spread, which means that I'm going to draw a, an additional card for every single situation and what we look here is is that a, a very very ambitious week that you do have actually that is going to be a very very busy week for you uh, mainly because you are now to place foundations of a, a huge goal in front of yourself that is seen in between these couple of cards and additionally these two cards are adding more colors into it but let's go uh, into the first one which is the topic of your week we do have the prince of pentacles or the knight of pentacles followed by the six of cups so now i can uh, stretch the reading so long with these couple of cards but what they point is that you are finally to find an, an activity hobby you say it that way uh, you know or a, a person to spend the time with you know project and etc etc that you are finding very amusing now the six of cups it could say a couple of things and it's further strengthening the the uh prince or the knight of pentacles which is your standpoint for the duration of the week so what that card does it makes you feeling pleasant and joyful and exhilarated when you do uh, or when you perform in that specific field it could also manifest in a such a way that you are to feel physical and emotional connection and attraction to a specific person so here we do see a prerequisite of a uh, uh, a huge empathizement if I may express myself that way and I have prerequisites for start dating with a specific person that in case you are single and uh, what the Knights of Pentacles does here is, is that you are to recognize this is a very productive goal of yours as a very beneficial goal of yours either that could be a person or again a project at work it doesn't matter what matters here is, is that you are to recognize it as a field for uh, in which you can sow a harvest and then reap that harvest all right and take a, a full benefits from the fruits of your labor what is important with these couple of cards here however to be said is that you should start the things simple step by step don't try to make sophisticated plans surreptitious uh, you know intentions to, to to put surreptitious intentions behind it and etc etc because the only thing that you're going to do especially if we're talking about Connecting with a person, and as that is a very possible, as the, as the um, Knight of Pentacles is in a prime position, is that you will look more nefarious than um, than Candorius or than Candorian here uh, throughout the week. So, uh, if you don't want to look nefarious to those people, it is best if you approach them very openly. You share things with them like you share your thoughts you share your your good fortune as well and etc etc moving on forward and that further is going to strengthen 
the uh, emotional and the physical connection that you are going to have in between them and for career as soon as you approach your projects with a very simple steps you know start to resolve the smaller predicaments and problems first then moving to the bigger one you are to see how well you cope with all those difficulties and that everything you uh, attend to into those activities are basically giving you a, an extreme amount of pleasure and as well is allowing you to um, incorporate your creativity into those projects at work. So these are a couple of examples here, one for career and one for job, how the things uh, can manifest in the grand scheme of things for you. But uh, all in all we can say with these cards is that you are to start working toward, um, for the lack of better terms, excuse me, uh, toward a, a very productive goal of yours, which could be either relationship or which could be either career, placing down the foundation, recognizing it as a, something of a, a long-term benefit. The next card, which is the Six of uh, Pentacles here, accompanied with the Six of Swords, so we do have double sixes which points to a, a consolidation more leaning toward the private and personal life as the six suggests all right <clears throat> more toward family or toward relationships. These cards here however are natural enemies and what they point <clears throat> is that you can, uh, how can I place it, uh, this event here that you are going to recognize as a very productive is sitting outside of your beliefs or outside of your box. Just one second guys. So uh, by that it will require from you to make some uh, unorthodox steps according to, to your personal understanding and to your personal beliefs because definitely this, uh, this event here that you are to start uh, incorporating yourself with is not going to align with your current. So to give you an example of that, <clears throat> let's say that you are liking uh, very masculine guys, right? So let's say that you are a woman and you like very masculine people with all the muscles, bodybuilders, and etc., etc., that are very, you know, fit in. And uh, this time around, however, you are finding yourself attracted to someone that is not that well shaped, you know, it doesn't have these that, that vas vascularity and these muscle mass that you can that you are usually attracted to, but in the same time something within them, you know, is making you a very af a affectionate toward this person. So don't be surprised what I'm trying to say here, cancers, that somewhere outside of your system of beliefs and outside of your current of your flow of events, a thing attracts your attention because that is to be a thing, a thing for you to explore something brand new, to find yourself very creative with it, very emotionally attached to it as well. And the very least is going to allow you to unfold your potential even more by uh, you realizing that you can do different stuff in a different way and to be much more productive with it. If we follow career examples here, that could be a project that has nothing to do with your qualification, all right, but at the same time, you kind of find yourself that you are very good at it. And I will give my uh, myself as an example, you know, as education, I'm an engineer, but I found out that I'm very good with tarot, or at least I'd like to take the thing that way. Of course, I'm not a guru or a god or something like this, but, you know, it's something I like to do, so I start exploring into that direction and boom, I now have my business with it. So something like this, so you are to find a, a new additional option available. You don't have to take it by all means, all right? But you are to find a very, uh, uh, something additional for yourself to work with either relationship wise or either career wise toward that week which is going to require a, a lot of ambition for yourself that is displayed here but we are to go there in a matter of minutes so the next card that we do have that is going to be the star card which is falling into a, a position that displays challenges causing predicaments so what this card on its own uh, preaches here 
just the star card it is that this is going to be a, a very long term of development project either career or either relationship so you start dating with this less masculine guy that I have explained to you and uh, just because it is a unknown field for yourself you know until this very moment you haven't dealt with those people or with these kind of people you may feel yourself a little bit insecure you know of your emotional states or, or uh, how or even you know you find yourself very thrilled by that guy but you don't know how how long this is going to uh, to continue you know because you may think that it is maybe a, um, a a yearning of yours it is not something strong as love all right so that will take a time to develop and that is the predicament your patience you know and your readiness to explore the possibility to its very end and when we do have the two of Pentacles to the star card you should not be uh, kind of like um, I would say playful. You know, what that card points here with the star card is that if you decide to invest into that direction, you have to take the things seriously, you know. You have to take the matters as something of a utmost importance. Because if it is about the relationship, you know, not taking the things seriously here and just um, shits and giggling with people around you or with that person, that will seriously kind of like damage their emotional state. And you don't want that because eventually, you know, the universe is going to repay you back for that, whatever you did. And uh, one another example comes in my mind here, which is something I really hate. For example, you like people with a, a very good financial wealth, you know, and that could be a, a week of a very big wake up call, realizing that money aren't everything. <laughs> All right. Well, some people will never reach to that particular conclusion, but who knows? Maybe today or this week is your week to recognize that in case you are such a person who is driven strictly by the money. So uh, the star card with the two of pentacles here it does point that as soon as you place your fulcrum forward all right a fulcrum to work for uh, you should keep on doing it without uh, dropping uh, without dropping the path that you have consciously taken the two of pentacles uh, kind of like incorporates the small changes that are happening here and there and this is the least thing you want to do in order to allow the star card to manifest itself in a most positive way because the star card is the hope it is the the, the long-term goal that you have to look to look forward to and if you have all those changes in Incorporate around you that long-term goal is going to start changing itself as well so uh, that being said it will be good you know as, as soon as you define that you like that additional project or that you like that additional person to again explore that opportunity for its full extent now as soon as however you decide it is not worth it by all means you know you can escape from it but again is not it, it is not something that I would recommend looking at those cards the very least is going to allow you to find a, a different side of yourself so uh, just all in all here before we go to the guidance card cancer once again this week December 17 to December 23rd is going to present you with a, a new option available with a new enterprise that you can invest yourself in or you can choose not to entirely entirely up to you and it's going to be something that you until this very moment did not participate at because it was outside of your system of beliefs so at the end we do have the, the king of wands which points to the ambition you do need to have in order to um, develop that new enterprise to its full extent uh, the king of wands has always almost a uh, a, a an expectation close to perfection so the king of wands does not satisfy with just an average result he always expects flawless results and that needs to be your standpoint whatever you try something if it doesn't work very well for you you need to try it again either with that new person which you met or either with this new project remember you are learning this is something that you have not participated into until this very moment and that is very important to uh, <clears throat> to be agile in a sense of uh, in a sense of denying failure so if something again if for example you 
you make a date with that guy and you date in the usual circumstances that you are dating until this very moment and you find them them feeling a little bit uncomfortable you know maybe you need to uh, kind of like opt the conditions of the dating a little bit so you both can feel comfortable in it it's kind of like this kind of points that if you aim for perfection you know and you do have the ambition to make it a, a perfect development for yourself you can definitely do it so with the tree of swords we are here seeing the recognition you know that even though um, <clears throat> kind of until this very moment your methods work for you now for that specific um, agenda or for that specific enterprise your methods may prove themselves a little bit futile or outdated all right and you have to adopt new methods and that's why guys you have to kind of keep the things a little bit more simple uh, sim simple not sophisticated as i said at the start and dealing with what with one problem at the time starting from the smallest problem that you are facing at that very moment and moving your and making your way to the bigger problems that are cons that are persisting into this new enterprise so uh, that was the tarot reading all in all it does look like that we do have for you cancers new versatilities that you can rely on for that week so if you find your life very boring at, uh, at that specific time well that week is going to give you a, a new fulcrum and a new direction for you to explore and to find yourself very productive with so what the Lenormand cards are to give us is a event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid so the first card that we do have this is the clover which stands for small portion of success and small amounts of luck then we do have the gentleman so we do have a, a man here how what the man is going to do in your life that is going to be the root so we so this is where you, that enterprise we talked about involves a person it does involve a man so as i said i do think that it is more leaning toward the uh the relationship part of the scales all right so we do have through a, a small amount of luck you're gonna meet a man that is gonna take a huge portion of your life because the tree stands for life and it stands for for a roots and that man is going to take on a, a, a roots in your life and is gonna go for a, a long term which the star card does displayed here uh, but if it is again about a um, about a, a career then we have a, a cooperation that through a, a small amount of luck you found out that someone can be very useful for you and you can use them in order to stabilize your positions that are into this new agenda new project new enterprise that you are to start developing into uh, into your career because you know some males are going to look at that reading and they are going to see you know a man and they will say well look i i like women so this is why i have to give them as well a, a possible interpretation of these cards that it may not regards to a, a relationship <clears throat> But I do think that for the most ladies there, and in generally for the most people that are like males, this is what that these re this reading is all about. So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17th to December 23rd, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, uh, this was just a general reading for Cancer Star Sign. And uh, the resonation of it is going to be different for every single different Cancer in this world. So uh, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. I gave some... Um, examples here so i can make a bit more sense of the cards i have fulcrum to work with but and if you want uh, your situation to be just like these examples and specific cards drawn for it well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below below here in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing don't forget that till the end of december the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes tarot live tarot reading with me are reduced are with reduced cost excuse me so that being said brad signing out now see you next time Bye.